And now, direct from the moon, at enormous expense, comes the Slide into Slides Pizza Show! Hello everyone, and how are you today? Absolutely splendid? Thought so. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's get started. This assignment will be in your stream or you can click on classroom at the top. Go over to add or create and go down to slides. Click on slides. Google will create a slide document for you. Once that's created, click on the document and open up your new slideshow. Slides are pretty much like PowerPoint. First, type in your heading. My heading today is the pizza has been eaten. Next, type in your name and your class. Next, we'll format the text, highlight the text, and you can change the font and the font size. That looks pretty cool. Next, we'll add a background image. Just click on the background and go to Change Background and then choose an image. Then select Google Image Search. Type in the image you're looking for. In this case, pizza. Select the image that suits you. Click on insert, then click on done. And voila, your image is in the background. The font looks pretty tragic and it's certainly the wrong color. So we'll change the color and change the font so that they look spectacular. Have a fiddle around with the drop shadow and other formatting options if you like. I think I fancy tilting the text, so I'll use the little circle above the text box to do just that. But now you can't read my name, so I'm going to format my name so it's readable. A much blockier text in white will stand out a lot more. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to give it a little more punch and define the edges. I'm also going to add a drop shadow to my title. This one's going to be in white, so it will pop on the first slide. Here's something that made me laugh. A pizza is basically a real-time pie chart of how much pizza is left. <laughs> So let's make one. I love pizza and I love pie charts. I'll format the text so it's cool and easy to read. Change the font size and type. Write some words in capital letters and add a little color to give it some pizzazz. Let's say pizza zazz. Remember to highlight the words and then change the color and the size. I'm going to change the line spacing as well by going to the format menu and choosing line spacing, custom spacing. I'm going to change it to 0.8 so that the text is a little closer together. Then center the text on the page. A little bit more formatting and it's looking splendid. Then we're going to add a new slide and insert an image from the web. Type in pie chart. I found I needed to write pie chart one quarter to find a suitable image. Click on the image and then press insert at the bottom. Add a text box by 
clicking on the text box icon and inside the box you can type One quarter of the pizza has been eaten. Then format the text and label your diagram. No, I don't like that. I want to get rid of that first quarter that's been eaten. I'm going to put a box over the top of that and I'm going to colour it white, including the border. Go up to the fill tool and paint it white and also the border colour can be either transparent or white. Yes, looking great. This time we're going to add an actual pie chart. Go up to insert, go up to chart and then go to pie. A pie graph will appear up in the top corner. Click on the little down arrow and then click on open source. This will open up Google Sheets so you'll be able to change all of the details. Because we're using quarters, each segment will be 25 or 25% 25 of the total 100%. Change the titles, change the heading, and change the names of each slice. I've called the first one Eaten 1, then Eaten 2, and Pizza Left 1 and Pizza Left 2. Now we'll format the slices. Click on the slice and click on Format Pie Slice. Choose the colour you would like for all the slices that have been eaten and for all the slices that are left. I've chosen yellow and red. Then rename the title of your pie chart. Not so happy with the red for the slices that have been eaten. They should really be gone. So I'm going to choose white. Then click back onto your slideshow tab. I like this idea so I'm going to duplicate our first picture and add a white shape over three quarters of the pizza. I can only cover half the pizza and then the final quarter. So extend the shape out. Use the bucket tool to select white for both the fill and the outline. You can duplicate this shape and paste it and resize it to fit over the final quarter. Same idea for the final pizza when all four quarters have been eaten. Open the graph source and click on the various segments and colour them white. Click back on your slideshow tab when you've finished and then click on update at the top of your page. If you would like to add a video of you cooking a pizza and dividing it up into slices and eating it, the way you upload a video is to go to your Google Drive and then find your MP4 video and then just drag and drop into your Google Drive. You can insert the video into your slideshow Click on Insert, Add Video, then go to Google Drive, find the video you have uploaded, and select it. Voila, you are done.